Uh, Jura, there's been a lot of outside noise around the uh, around the club in the last little while. How have you managed to sort of put that to one side and concentrate just on, on playing football? Yeah, probably like we have uh, the whole time. Um, you know, these questions have been coming up for quite some time and, um, you know, the boys have always just stayed focused. We, we can't control any of the, the outside noise that's been going on and, you know, it's finally... Um, out and, and we can move on from it and, and just focus on um, the, the positive stuff and that's finals football coming up and um, there's still an opportunity for us to get um, fourth spot. Has there been any correlation between the last couple of results and, and this news? No, I, I don't think so. Um, you know, players were made aware of this, um, you know, quite a while ago that, that Mark um, is potentially um, going to move on. Um, and we've had some really successful um, positive games in that time. Um, it's just the last two games we've, we've been poor, we've started poorly. Um, and yeah, for me, it's got no relevance to, to the news that um, that's broken. Has that uh, been a focus ahead of this game, that the first half performances, I think, what, five goals conceded in the last two first halves? Has that been talked about? Yeah, it definitely has. It's been reviewed and, and probably reasons why um, we've, we've analysed that. So back at home, we've, we've had a really good run at home. We've been really strong strong at home so um, you know we, we expect to, to change that and come out firing and, and start really well. Adelaide's win last night I guess was something you probably would have preferred to go the other way but but do you really just focus on yourselves for tomorrow night and then think well it, actually it is still there if we if things go our way? Yeah I just think we've got to focus on ourselves and, and the games that we got ahead of us and wherever we finish we finish um, you know obviously fourth spot is what we'd love and you know now we kind of got to rely on other results to, to get that but um, you know if it's an away game for the first finals it's an away game and, and we'll be ready to go. Stevie Taylor back in the mix. Uh, is it nice having him back alongside after what four or five games he missed? Yeah, he missed, a, missed quite a few games, so it's um, it's nice to have him back. He's, he's he's a good player, he's a good leader inside the change room, and um, yeah, he scored an important goal um, to to try and get us back into the game the other week, and, and he adds that aerial threat as well. So yeah, it's nice to have him back. And how much of a blow is it to see Mark go? I mean, just go and just turn around his head. Yeah, obviously disappointing, really disappointing um, that, you know, such a, a great coach and, you know, a, a good person who's really bought into the football club, um, you know, he's bought into the culture of, of the country and, and um, the city and, and he's really embraced it, he's, he's taken it on more than any other coach that, that I can remember in terms of bringing some of the Maori traditions into into the um, you know into the team change room so yeah disappointing um, on the other hand you know completely respected decision um, I'm a family man also and, and I can imagine how difficult it is is for him so um, now I guess the focus is we just we just want to win it we want to we want to make this year um, the most successful year we've ever had and and that's the focus and then you know next year the the club will sort of itself out but um, this year's about you know Mark being the coach the players focused on finals football and, and doing something special. Is it easier in a way having the distraction just kind of out of the way like it is decided now? Um, it, it wasn't really a distraction inside the change room it, it really wasn't um, you know I guess the distraction came from the outside noise and, and the questions that that continually got asked and, and I guess the speculation is he staying is he going um, but inside the change room we've just continued to, to be ourselves we've continued to stay focused we, we just do our jobs, analyse the teams coming up, um, go out there and perform to the best of our ability. So in, in terms of that, nothing nothing much has really changed at all. There's also um, questions as to what you're doing next season. Yeah. Okay, one more home game, this often looms as kind of a headline for decisions <laughs> like that. Um, yeah, have you made a call? Uh, I haven't. It, it could definitely be my last um, game at Westpac Stadium for sure. Um, you know, I, I want to give myself um, you know, a little bit of time away from the game to, to really make a clear decision. Um, sometimes I feel like, you know, I've, I've had a good career and I'm done and, and then other days I feel, um, you know, like my body's good and, and I'm performing well and, and maybe I can go around another game and, and it depends. Sometimes, you know, you lose a few games and you think maybe it's done, win a few games and you want to carry on. So I really need a clear mind. Um, I want to take some time at the end of the season and, and really just analyse everything and, and make a clear decision on, on whether I stay on or not. Because how do you games, uh, the last few results haven't really gone your way. Uh, is, it, is it a good timing that you're coming back to Westpac? 
Yeah, like I said, our our home record's been been really good. We've we've played some really good football, scored a lot of goals at home, and um, you know to be in front of the home fans, um, which may be our last game at Westpac Stadium for for our fans as well. So hopefully there's a big crowd. I hope there's a big crowd. Um, we're going to need them um, for sure. It's, it's it's a big game for us, and um, yeah, we we love being there, and uh, you know we can wipe away those last two poor, poor performances with a with a really strong performance um, tomorrow. You talk on the crowd. What's sort of um, the message from the club to the crowd this week, given it could, like you say, be the last to see? Yeah, get out there, get out there, support us. We've played some great football all year. Um, you know, I think we deserve deserve big numbers, and I know it's Easter, but um, you know, what better way than you know, have your chocolates during the day, have some lunch, and then get out there and and support us. Um, you know, it's it, it's important for the players. We we just we just love playing in front of big crowds, and um, you know, we we, we want to make them proud and say thank you for for the season, for the support that they've given us all year. Um, so it's a good opportunity for us to put in a good performance. And, and thank them. Do you guys read into the home advantage sort of thing in the twelve man mentality? Yeah, I've, I mean that's you know it's not it's not a myth. It's you know that that's in football that's um, a real advantage for for home teams to play in front of their home crowd and. Um, you know, it does give you the extra lift when when you're doing well and they're cheering you on, or if you're struggling and, and, and the noise in the crowd can can really spur you on as well. So um, yeah, it's definitely an important factor. Mark says he's accepting or understanding of the fact that a few fractions of the fans may not necessarily take to him as warmly as they have elsewhere in the season. Do you see that being a, a scenario? Oh, yeah, there may be a handful of people that that um, you know won't ever forgive him, but. Um, you know, I think majority of the people can understand the situation. You know what he's done at this football club and how he's turned it around in 12 months is is pretty impressive. And I probably don't know if too many other coaches could have done that, to be honest. Um, so I think we we need to recognise that um, his contribution to this football club has been significant, and and he's he's set this club up as well in in different areas. Um, you know that that could give them future success as well. So. Um, yeah, I'd like to think the fans would would you know continue to support him as they have all year. Um, he's still the coach of the Wellington Phoenix, and he still has an important job to to um, to the to the club and to the players. So um, yeah, hopefully they still continue to support him. And you said you'd take some time at the end of the season uh, to clear your mind and, and have a think about next year. But do you think the the whole idea that Mark has now left that maybe the club would need a leader like yourself next season more than perhaps if Mark was still around? Um, yeah, look, I guess that's that's something that I also need to think about. Um, you know, I've always put the club first in all my decisions, but um, you know, I really need that time away um, to really reflect on everything, and, and I need to make the best decision for myself and, and for my family. So, um, whatever that is, then you know, I'll make that decision in, in the off season. Because you've played more minutes than any other Phoenix player this season, um, going into the season, did you expect to be in that position? Um, I, I felt I'd be capable of it. I, I really did. I, I back myself every year to, to be able to perform and, and to be able to, to run out the minutes. Um, yeah, new coach coming in. I, I didn't know, um, you know, what he was thinking as well. And, and and like everyone had to prove themselves early on in the season to to show their qualities. And um, you know, you've seen throughout the year, Mark doesn't just play anyone for um, you know sympathy factor or anything. You you have to perform. And if you don't perform, then then there's changes. So you know, I like to think I've I've performed you know quite well this year and, and made a significant contribution to the team. So um, yeah, I've I've just enjoyed. It. I've really enjoyed my football this year. Last year was a really difficult time, um, both on the field and off the field, so um, to have a season like this is, is really good, but job's not done yet and, and we still want to continue to, to make this um, a really special season. Would finishing your career in Australia be, be an option? As a, as a player? Yeah. Um, I, I haven't thought about that, I, I, I don't know. Um, you know I, uh, I haven't ruled out anything, and I won't rule out anything. But um, you know, once once the season ends, you know, I want to look at all opportunities, both as a player, as not a player, um, staying in football, not staying in football, um, just get it all together and, and make a real clear decision. Are so you worried that um, players will leave the club now that Mark's going, just because he did have such a big impact and the likelihood that he could be coaching a rival club? Um, that's football. I mean, coaches coaches come and go. Um, some players really enjoy playing under one coach more than, than other coaches. Um, if they decided to leave, you know, I mean, that's their decision and, and, and it's hard to try and, to try and stop that. So, um, yeah, 
whatever happens, I mean, it's just football. You know, Adelaide have lost their coach. Um, Melbourne City still are struggling to re-sign players because their coach is up in the air at the moment. Um, it's it's not something that's you know unique um, at this football club. It's it's just football in general. And like I said, if players go, they go. Um, if they stay, then then fantastic. How confident are you of securing a result tomorrow? Yeah, extremely confident. Um, you know, we've had some some really good battles with them this year. Um, they are a team that have a lot of good individuals, but I think um, you know, being at home, um, our final game of the of the um, season at home, I think that'll spur us on, and I think we'll we'll get the right results um, and and really push it to the last game to see if we can get that uh, home playoff. Sorry. Yeah, we're completely focused on. Uh, game tomorrow.